In this model, we have a vent design that straddles across two perpendicular faces with a fillet in the middle. The body is shelled on the inside. There are two main challenges here. The first is in delineating this region of space. The second is how to create vents to occupy only this region of space. Let's start with a cuboid that is already shelled. The plan here is to split out this portion. We will not be able to split this out in a single sketch. The split has to be performed from two different planes. Let's first create a sketch on the top face of the box. And go to Modify, Split Body. Select the body to split and select the sketch as the splitting tool. Let's create another sketch on the front face. I'm drawing these two lines so that I can add in fillets at these two corners. Repeat the split body command. In this case, we are splitting the section of the body that was previously split. So this will represent a portion of the body that defines the outer boundaries of the vents. Looking at the final design, the vents are slightly under the main face. Let's recede these faces using offset. Go to Modify, Offset Face. Select these three faces and adjust the distance. Next, we are going to make a series of plates. Start a sketch on this face. Instead of sketching closed rectangles, we will simply sketch a single line. This will serve as a seed for our pattern later. Just take note to create a line so that it exceeds the defined region. Activate the Surface tab. Create a surface using this line by going to Create, Extrude. Extrude the surface out. Make sure it exceeds the defined region. Go to Create, Thicken, and thicken the surface. Go to Create, Pattern, Rectangular Pattern. For Type, select Bodies, and select the starting plate. For Direction, Click on the select box and pick on this edge of the plate. This will ensure that the plates are parallel to one another. Adjust the spacing and quantity. Let's hide these two bodies. We have the series of plates and the defining region remaining. Activate the Solid tab. Go to Modify, Combine. For Target, select the defining region. For two bodies, select the plates. Multiple bodies can be selected here. For Operation, select Intersect. From the preview, you can see that the resultant bodies are created 
from the intersecting volumes between the defining region and the plates. Confirm and unhide the rest of the bodies. Now these are still separate bodies. So let's go to modify, combine. And combine all these bodies into one single solid. Without using the combine command, it will be a difficult task to model these vents to follow this shape. When you consider each step in isolation, none of them are particularly challenging. But when you combine them, they can produce a complex looking pattern.